Hello everyone. So we are going to make our food panda clone app. So for that we will be using Android Studio. So you can also use Visual Studio Code, but I will be using Android Studio. So we can hit next and we can create our Flutter project. So here we can add another folder food panda i'm just creating a new folder and here i can write food panda underscore users and organization type i can keep it example so let's unselect this web windows linux we will be only using android and ios so we can hit create so let's create our app So I'm using my mobile phone. You can use emulator if you want. So now we can just run this empty project and see if it's working or not. So let's wait a few seconds. It should be up. So this is how our empty project looks like. So we will be ch changing many things. But before that, we can remove this part and in our main.dart and we can change this to, let's say, foot panda users and we can remove this to stateful widget as well and we can remove this one and here we can write debug show checked mode banner to false so this debug banner will go away we have to um, we can add a new directory and call this splash screen and here we can add another dart file so splash underscore screen and we can import material dot dart stateful widget splash screen and now i'm going to write splash screen here so now you can see it automatically goes into splash screen and now we can import our images so I'm, I already have some images so 
I'm just going to paste this image folder here from my previous project so you can see this icon images sorry so let's use them and before that we have to go to pubspec.tml file and add new assets images slash here under this section and if we hit pocket then it should work and we can add dependencies well we can add dependencies one by one but i'm going to copy the dependencies from my previous project so you can actually pause this one and see what dependencies i'm using and the versions you can use the same version or you can use the latest one but most of these are the latest ones so it shouldn't be a problem so if i hit pubkit then it should get the dependencies for our project it will take some time and let's run this project actually let's stop this and run this again can see there is some error so minimum SDK version should be 20 so we can go to our Android folder here and add build.gradle and change the minimum SDK version to 21 and we can run this again these red lines are not errors these are just warnings so it shouldn't be a problem but we can see your project requires a newer version of the kotlin gradle plugin so we can go to our build.gradle file this one under this android not this app so in this gradle we can change the kotlin version to i latest version so latest version is 9.2 so let's use that version Now you can see our app is installing again and you can just follow me through this process of this process so that you won't get any error. Now we can add actually Firebase to our project so I'm going to hit Firebase logout and 
to write this command you have to install node.js so I'm um, you can either create a project manually or you can just I mean you have to create a project manually in console.firebase.google.com so I'm going to write food panda clone so I can hit continue enable Google Analytics and I can use default account for Firebase it will take some time so it's finishing up now we can continue so this is what our project in firebase looks like and we can actually use android and ios separately or you can use this flutter to build our to add our project to this firebase so i can just hit flutter the next and i can copy this flutter fire this common line so i'm going to add this to terminal and hit enter so it's automatically building and then i can copy this common line and paste it here So I have to log in first. I forgot to log in. So Firebase login and it will open CLI. So here I can just allow the Android Studio and then we can paste the command line again now it should build okay we have to select which and so android and ios so for bloat platform So our work is done then from here if we hit next then it shows and then actually you can see this file firebase options that added so we can use this code but I'm just going to hit continue to console and now we can see that in our build not build okay let's refresh the browser and we can see that there is these two apps food panda users android and food panda users ios so you can go to project settings and here you can see that these two apps has been added successfully so now we can sorry So now we can add 
firebase to our project I mean we already added the firebase but we need to change this void main so we can write instead I'm just going to increase the font size so let's I can remove this and write future void main async widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized and await firebase dot initialize app we have to add the dependency firebase score then we can add options default firebase options dot current platform and now we can write run app const my app so our work here is done for our users in the similar manner we can add make new project we can do that on the next video so please follow along